Say man, hey man, we are back with another NBA 2K23 video, man. I was about to say uh, next gen build video, so I'm so used to creating build videos. But I tried to do something a little different this year, man. Um, I'm making tips and tricks and, you know, how to do certain quests and stuff like that. So today, we are talking about the core badges. A lot of people don't understand how the core badges work. I didn't understand how they work at first until I went in there and figured it out. So well, let's go ahead and go to the badges. So for the core badge, if you pay attention, right? To the right, it tells you your equipped core badge. You get one core badge per category. So there's finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense and rebound. So there's four badges that you can core. And look at the description now. It says a badge must be equipped to earn progress towards its core badge challenge. So it's a challenge. It's not anything free. It's something that you have to finish in order to get the badge. And it also says once the challenge is met, the related badge level is eligible to be made a core badge. So with Drop Stepper, right? I have Drop Stepper as one of my core badges for the finishing because I do a lot of Drop Step. I post up a lot. So getting a Drop Step core badge is easy for me. Rise Up is easy for me. As you can see, I do have those badges cored. And I have it cored for the bronze level. But once I put the badge on silver, as you can see, I mean, once I get the core badge on bronze, then I start to progress on silver. As you can see, I'm almost halfway to the silver drop stepper. And once I get that field at the bottom where it says drop stepper core challenge, I can get that badge on silver as my core badge. Right now it's on bronze, but once I feel this bar right here at the bottom, it's going to go to silver and I can core it as silver. So that's really how the core badges work. You don't want to pick these core badges that are, I mean, you don't want to pick the badges that are hard to get, okay? Pro Touch, look how far Pro Touch is, man. No no freaking progress on it. So that lets you know that it's hard to do this right here. And read the description of the badge so you can go out there and do what the badge actually say. Post spin Technician, I don't do that a lot. As you can see, the bar is nowhere close to being finished. Giant Slayer. Now, Giant Slayer is almost done, as you can see. Um, you know, it boosts the shot percentage for the layup attempt with mismatch against tall defenders. So I'm always playing against tall defenders. So this is a badge that I will be able to core once I keep doing that. Acrobat, same thing. I don't do a lot of acrobat layups or whatever. Bag down Punisher, I use this badge a lot. As you can see, it's almost full with the uh, challenge. Dream Shake, I don't do this a lot. So as you can see, it's very, very low for the um, core challenge, okay? Fast Twitch, this is the badge I would like to core. You know what I'm saying? Because I really would like to call post ride. Let's go to post ride. So everybody's probably going to have post ride. As you can see, um, you do have uh, two different levels right here. You have the civil level, and I'm not even close to that. The bronze, I'm a little bit closer, so you have to get a lot of contact dunks just to get this uh, core badge for the post ride, which is going to be really, really hard. Now, for the limited takeoff, I don't have a lot of progress on that either. Um, you know, I just dunk really under the goal. I don't do a lot of taking off, so that would be a hard badge for me to core, okay? The bully badge, I don't even have that badge equipped. You have to equip the badge in order to get progress towards the badge, you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Slither finish, I don't have that badge equipped, so I'm not making any progress towards getting it core. Master, same thing. Field of finisher, same thing. Area Wizard, I had that um, equipped for a little while, so that's why I got a little bit of progress. But let me go to the shooting to show you guys um, the progress on my shooting. So I have catch and shoot. If you, if you look at that, look at catch and shoot, man. Like, the progress on bronze, that's what the progress is on bronze. This is the progress on silver, and I have the badge on gold, so I'm working on getting it gold um, for the core badge. You know what I'm saying? I want this on gold, and I want to take away the badge that I use for this. I use five points for this, so once I core it, those five points are free to add somewhere else, okay? And as you can see, I haven't used anything else, so I can't. I can't really uh, make any progress on these badges that I'm not using. So you have to use the badge in order to work towards the core. As you can see for bronze claymore, it's, it's small. Silver claymore is small. And the gold is small too, you know what I'm saying? Guard up, same thing. You don't do this stuff a lot. So if you don't do it a lot, please don't add it for your core badge, man. It won't make any sense, okay? Me personally, I think catch and shoot is a great one to have. Uh, space creators for the people that like to dribble and all that stuff, creating space. But Catch and Shoot would be a badge that I would core. Now, Asian 3, Blinders, Dead Eye, like, look what you have to do in order to make that badge activate. Somebody had to jump at you now. We can't control that, so don't worry about coring these uh, these tough badges, man. 
quarterbacks like catch and shoot or something like that, man. A bad that is easy to get. So that's what I want to talk about with the core bads. I hope that helped you guys out because, you know, these core badges are very important. You don't get a lot of badges this year, so you need these badges to kind of fill your bill out. As you can see for the playmaking, um, I have anchor breaker, not even far, man, because I don't dribble a lot with the ball. Break starter, now I do that a lot, but you know, you gotta get rebounds, kick the ball up. Dimer, this is for all the point guards out there. If you get a lot of assists, make sure you try to core this dimer badge if you wanna play that way. Post playmaker, don't use that. Needle threader, that's for the playmakers too. If you pass a lot, mix match expert is the people that like to dribble. Hyperdrive, I use this a lot and quick first step. As you can see, I have quick first step complete and I didn't even know that until now. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the edit and guess what I'm gonna do? I have zero badge points available. Now watch this, I'm in the court. Now I got three. I didn't even pay attention to that until I'm looking at it now. That's what I'm talking about, man. I just caught quick first step and I didn't even know I can court a badge, man. And then we got vice grips, I don't use that. And of course I ain't using these badges down here. But as you can see, man, I got three badges available right now. I wasn't even paying attention to that, but I do have three badges available and I will come back and um, add them badges at another time. So for the defense, let me see if I got some I can call on defense. Box out, nope. Okay, Pogo, workhorse. Oh, I can call workhorse. Okay, I didn't even pay attention to this stuff, man. I, I, I appreciate y'all, man, because I'm making this video for y'all, and I'm finding out that I can call these badges. So as you can see now, I got zero badge points available, but I have my bar complete for the workhorse core challenge. So guess what I'm going to do? Click edit and I'm gonna go ahead and core that badge. Now you see zero, bam, it went up to one. So I got one badge point available and I have a workhorse cord for my defense. And as you can see, I got one badge point available and I can put that anywhere I wanna put it. That costs one badge point, okay? So let me pay, let me look at it again. Let me look at the shooting again. Make sure I don't have anything uh, done on that. So now I don't have anything on shooting. So yeah, man. Three core badges for me right there, as you guys can see. I did it right in front of you guys, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I had quick first step and work hard that I can call, you know what I'm saying? So now, with the quick first step, I have to keep doing the quick first step stuff, you know, to get it on silver. As you can see, I got a lot of progress on the silver quick first step too. Let me check the workhorse out. For the silver workhorse, bam, look at that, man. Look how far that is, man. So I've been working on those badges, man, and, and they have been working. So I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I just got myself three extra badge points on the playmaking and one on the defense. I didn't even know it. But you want to kind of core the higher badges like this right here, catch and shoot. It cost me five points. So if I was able to core this, core, this uh, catch and shoot, I would have five badge points available. So... You want to record those high badges, man. Get the progress up and get the badge, man. But that's the video. Make sure you like it, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Charge!